Good morning and welcome. Coming to you live from our studio right here in the heart of Benin City. It is now three minutes past 9 a.m. My name is Joyce Chukuga. Welcome to what the Honorable has got to say on your number one family radio station, Super 88.1 FM. Today is Wednesday, the 24th of April, 2024. We'll be having a very deep-seated conversation this morning and I'd love for us uh, for you to join us. Uh, so our microphones are on now. Good morning. Good morning, Joyce. Yes. All right, um, if you're a person who listens to Super ID upon 1FM, the name Adewale should have been saved on your phone by now. He's a member of the family. Uh, this is Adewale Amala Sport, sat here in the studio. He's brought some very dignified guests with him in the studio, having a very serious conversation. Adewale, welcome. Thank you, Mijois. Welcome, Daddy. Good morning, sir. Good morning, morning. All right, so let's meet our daddies in the studio, please. Um, um, I am uh, Mr. Abontan Sibu. Mm. Samuel Abontai Sibo, the Odeon Ure of Aduawa. Thank you, sir. So happy to have you, sir. Thank and you very much. Daddy? I'm Peter Abontai, the same part of Aduawa community. All right. Welcome. Uh, let's, let's take a, a little trip back to a few months ago. A number of us went on our social media, we received letters, and we saw uh, a communication where we were told that there was going to be an upgrade to the light situation and the light systems by the BDC. And that upgrade was going to start from the last week of November up until the fifth day of January. We are very excited because we were promised that these meant that there were going to be better prospects for electricity, especially in Edo State. Months after that, several different areas in Edo State have received even less power than they used to receive in the past and it seems like the power situation has gone worse. However, for the past three years that we have been located in Adowawa, we've noticed that the light situation even before the upgrade was promised was almost nothing to write home about. And now, even after the upgrade we were promised, months later, the situation is not getting any better. And we have your John Way of, Ad of Adowawa who wants to throw some light on the issue. Sir, please go ahead. Thank you very much. Uh, the, the point is that uh, we are experiencing a different thing entirely. It's even worse than what it was before. If we are, let's say, about uh, two, three weeks, we have light about three times. And uh, time, each time they bring it, it's, it's just say uh, one or two hours. Mm. Uh -huh. Then the rest is we are on blackout. That's for especially, three whole weeks, so. Especially when the rain falls. Mm. When the rain falls, uh, no, no light any longer. Hmm. There's no light, no light. Alert. We cry out, uh, nobody, nobody cares. Hmm. That is how we have to come to the media to tell the public that uh, I don't know what has happened with uh, uh, Duawa and the, the let's, I can say the state government because the government owns the light. Uh, because, uh, you see, the, the way they are treating us, uh, the, the entire Duawa, somehow, I don't expect it at all. So, I don't know what we have done, giving us a uh, of time in as far as the light is concerned. Nobody cares to know what is happening here. There was a time I called on their, on their, their boss. He came to my house. We held a meeting with him, and uh, he told me that uh, they are owing much. I said, okay, tablate all the, uh, the debtors, he, which he did. The money we are owing was up or something thousand. I see. Then he included my, what baffled me a lot was he included my name. I pay ahead. I pay ahead. The 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 tariff uh, boys them themselves they know. I I pay ahead. Why did you include my name among the debtors? So that was uh, right out. But the problem is that now I want to beg the state government and the entire public who. Uh, who are in charge of the light system here. In fact, we are suffering light problem in Adwawa. We are suffering. Every day we continue to suffer. And now, till now, I think today is making about, about six days now. No light. The generator, uh, the, when you buy generator, the fuel is problem. And to buy fuel in, the, in the, your generator is problem. Hmm. So the, uh, I'm, I'm appealing to the state government appealing to the everybody, people in question, people in, in concern, to, uh, to come to our aid. Because uh, we are, I don't think uh, we have lack of anything, because since the beginning of our Duawa, 
We are peacemaker. There is no with nobody. We are totally peacemaker. I'm proud of that. If you take us to anywhere, the whole community fights where well, they fight here and there, but no fight in Adwawa. I make sure everybody are, are, are we fight a constitutional fight. We don't fight, we don't do anything abnormal. In the school we have here, the secondary school we have here, well, is communal effort. We build it ourselves and hand over to it to, to the, go, the, the state government. And then we, we bought their, we, 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 we equipped their lab. After the, the lab, we bought a, a new, sound new vehicle for them. Yet, they could not maintain. They, they were no, no guard, nothing. So that's why they looted all. So yet, in the whole road, no, they don't grade. Or, and so many things went wrong in Adwa. That's why I'm asking, I'm asking, what is wrong? What have we done to the government? That's why I'm, I just come to the media to tell them, uh, say that this is, I don't know what is really wrong. This is the only state, this is the only, the only community who has erected a school, a school to, to, to a state, state government. We did all we could to, to help the, the state government, but uh, I don't know what is wrong, we are, we are, we are, why they are suffering us. Right, thank you so much, sir. Um, um, if, if you're listening to us right now, you're on to Super 88.1 FM. Um, if, you, if you know us, you know that uh, we, we are domiciled in Adora community in Benin City, Ado State, along the Benin um, Auchi Expressway. And as a entity doing business here, it's only right that we allow the people of Adwawa use our platform to reach out to the relevant authorities. No, you, sir, when you were speaking, it's, it's something that made me think. It's almost really hard when you're in a, in a community, you pay your taxes, and it seems like you're still the one catering for yourself. Now, this is something that I connect with personally. Um, my parents, we built our house in a waterbowl. And when it comes to a, a community that is fending for themselves, I think I have a bit of experience in that matter. But let's come back to the power situation for one thing. Now, the power situation, has it gotten progressively worse under the more recent time period, or has it been bad for a very long time? It has been bad for a very long time because have a long, this is a question of no light, no light problem. And for a long, for a, bad for a long time. There was a time I told you just now. I said there was a time I, I called on their boss. We are head meeting in my house, mm. and then they, we I know what we arrive at a point, and then he, he, he promised. But after one or two weeks, everything went off again. So wow. I'm, I, I don't know what is really wrong. Right, um, um, Adewale, you also do business in this area. How does this situation affect you as a business owner? Thank you, Joyce. Good morning, uh, Adewale community. Because why I had to intervene is this. Uh, by Monday last week, that mm. is about two days ago, there was supposed to be a mass protest which the youth had already organized to shut down the BEDC office at Ramat Park. Mm. I had to rush, quickly intervene. To meet the other way that yes, not this time around. We need this now. Mm. The the state is going through electoral process. Let's calm down. Let's not allow this one to degenerate. I will say, I do our people are the one that started this fight. Mm. So let's go diplomatically. Let's meet these people in their office. All efforts to see the B the business manager at Rama Park prove about him. He's not on seat. We cannot see him. Ah, what is happening? Actually, the lights in Adua were here. I've been in this community for 30 years now. Hmm. For my first 10 years, I can tell you that the light in Adua were here was the best in Edo State. Wow. I go to the work. I come back, meeting light. I, three days, I shut down my fridge. But over the years, we find out that the thing was going. Later, we heard that they will give us six hours. Six hours day, six hours night. Later, it became two hours day, two hours night. But do we see these two hours? Imagine running a generator, diesel generator for morning to night for a business. Wow. I had to make alternative solar and everything to just complement to make sure my customers are always satisfied. Mm. But the light issue is not helping. And I think if we are talking about number one security thing we should take note in this country, mm. it should be light. I came in from sugar where I went to get my flower. 2 a.m. on Saturday. Behold, it was, it was, if you can't see somebody coming from you from afar, it was total darkness. The only light we could see was the motor lights. Wow. 
for a whole community that has... I can count what we have in this Adwawa that other community does here. Is yes. it the radio station you want to talk about? We have the federal radio station here. Exactly. Situated here in Adwawa. The state and the federal, they are all situated here in Adwawa. Mm -hmm. You can't go through Adwawa without going outside the state. If you are going to the north of this country. I don't know what we have done. We have tried all our means. Okay, let me shock you. Do you know how much for two hours like they give us at times? Do you know how much I, I spent to fix fuse? Wow. How fuse wire. Go to my backyard now. You see a couple of wires that I bought. What's happening to the ones that you normally buy? Those, when the wire cuts, you call them that. Ah, we have issue. They'll tell you that they don't have wire. We are going to go through to the table. So many things. Last November, we spent 420000 Make sure that we have five post change wire, which I personally monitor. And I have the, the one that we remove in my backyard, which is an evidence to prove for it. So we spend our money to fix this thing, but still yet, we don't get this light at all. Not even a bit. So from the last time that we had uh, that you had any kind of communication with the BDC, what was the last information that they provided with? Uh, I remember um, um, the Ajawe mentioned that they said they were owing. And did we did we pay and then did the power get restored? Even when the Ajawe called me that this is what happened, I said, okay, tell their boss, bring their people, let me mobilize security mm. for their people so that we'll go from house to house we for those that are owing, which we did. We did. And they collected yes. this money. Which I can prove very right. Those that were owing ten thousand, we are asked to pay five thousand. You twenty thousand, you pay ten thousand to mm. just complement this effort. But the light was restored for only one day, and after that, it's zero. Uh, do you realize that I had to go as far as bypass to get ice block to ice my drink? Wow. For a thousand naira per one. Those at bypass, which light are they using? Is it not the same in Edo State? But what shocked me was the power plant situated right here in Adowawa. There's a power plant here in Adowawa? Ah, we have a Yawa power plant here. Yeah. We have Azura power plant. Yes, here. that's true, Azura power plant. So I was shocked to be in Alagia last week seeing that this receipt on the one of my friends there was from Azura power plant. Azura is powering outside the state. Why are we close to it? We can't we have can't one have hour light. light. So I don't know what we can do about it because we have tried all means. You you call them for anything, you have to pay for it. I pay for ladder, I pay for those services that come, and they can quote me anywhere. I mean, you have said it on radio, so clearly it is quotable. This is this is this is a very d d disturbing uh, information to have at our table right now, and, and and it's the only question that we can ask the BDC now is what is the way forward? Now, if you live in the Adwawa community, and this 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 information reaching us right now is also something that bothers you and affects you, would love to hear from you. So you can call us in the studio, by the way, and share your thoughts and share your experience with this whole situation. The numbers to call are zero seven zero five five one two nine eight eight one. 0705-572-7881. We also have 0812-753-6932. I'm really calling on Adwara residents to join their voices with Aldo or Dionwe. And let's tackle this issue fully. Hello, good morning. Uh, good morning. Welcome. What's your name and where you're calling us from, please? My name is Chidi. Okay, Chidi, where do you where are you calling us from? I'm calling from Lucky Way. From Lucky Way. Okay, talk to us, Chidi. Yeah, the light issue here is very, very terrible. We don't even see the light to do anything. When last did you get light, Lucky? Um, sorry, Chidi. Uh, just yesterday. Just yesterday? And we, it's not even up to one hour. And before then? Over two weeks now, there's no light. Over two weeks now, there's no light. This is preposterous. You Have you gotten any kind of information from the BDC? My dear, the trees have moved down to this place. This is what has been experienced there. Hmm. We buy card on daily basis, a uh, monthly basis. We charge our, our card, hmm. but we don't see the light. That's just a problem. Wow. There is no light at all. There is no light. No Honestly light. speaking, there is no light. It's not encouraging. All right, thank we, you so we much. Are really, we are really suffering a lot here. 
Wow. All right, thank you. But okay. dude, you, you have a prepared meter, yeah. right? Yes. Okay, okay. I was going to ask if they bring bills for you. Thank you so much, Chidi. Much appreciated. So I want to find out, do they bring bills for you with this lack of light? Still, do they call me and drop bills? Every month. Yes. Yes. Estimated B for those that don't have prepared mm. meter. Estimated B. And what Imagine are they being built for? Imagine a house giving a part of 25,000, 20,000 for what? For light not seen. And you get bills of up to 25,000, 30,000? For estimated before non-prepared meter. For non-prepared meter. For, yeah. for a light you saw two hours in six weeks. Did you see it? Wow. The two hours, it might be for only one street okay. because the other street wire has cut. Oh my goodness. Let's get some calls. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Welcome. What's your name? Where are you calling us from, please? My name is Stanley. I'm calling from uh, uh, Jerry, but I live in Ewa Road. You live in Ewa Road. Talk to us, Stanley. Okay. Um, the life situation, I really sympathize with the Adua people, the Tundi and all. And uh, my very good uh, customer there, Adua Yamala spoke. It's not easy to run generator for 24 hours. Before, last year, I used to have... Uh, on this program, there was a time on this program you put talked about light. And I, mm -hmm. I called and I said, yes, I have at least eight to six hours of power. But uh, since the last month to now, it has been deteriorated. It has been, it has been terrible. Mm. It's terrible. And I have a prepared meter. I do expect me that when I'm leaving the house, I leave my prepared meter on. I have to pull out my fuse so that my car will be safe. Because most times when you are at work, that's when they bring the light for one or two hours. Mm. For example, yesterday, there was no light throughout till 1 a.m. And they took it around 2.30 a.m. So as I'm speaking to you now, there's no light. Wow. So the, the light situation... It's a problem. I won't, I'm not uh, in support of you who are agitated or something, but it's very terrible that when you... You see, Nigerians, we, when, when you give us something, you're always ready to pay for it. But mm. that thing, let us have it. True, true. Don't cut corners. Let us have it. Thank if you have so much. It, we will give you whatever you ask us to pay you for. All right. Thank you so much. Um, I also want to ask um, Ajahn Weza, when it comes to the state government, now you mentioned a few things that you have been, you and your community members have come together and done for yourself. You've mentioned that you've, you've you set up the school there, you okay. furnished the school, and you did vehicles. Was there any response from the state government seeing what you have done, or even the local government chairman in this area? They came themselves to commission the school. Hmm. In short, this all this time, they are, they are, they are all there now. It is, it's come to a time... When you see uh, uh, after closing, there's nobody taking care of the uh, the property, uh, the two, the decks or the what you so called all in the school. They all left your like that. Then before it did get to ten to twelve o'clock in the midnight, everything vandalized. Normally vandalized, vandalizing is happening there every day, every mm. day. You see. And nobody take care. I reported to the said uh, uh, local government. Nothing done. Still, and we, in fact, uh, you have, uh, we, in fact, they are, they are the effort to prove at the body we have been improving so far. So I mm. don't know really what is wrong. Whether we have committed offense and against the state, uh, against the state government, I don't know. Because why they are punishing us in such a way. This is this is looking to me, and please sir, correct me if I'm wrong. This is looking like a triple situation. You have the situation of power, you have the situation of roads. I know you mentioned roads as well, maintenance of roads. It's really interesting because we have the, the expressway, which is tarred, but then you see the roads that are linking to the expressway, they are not hard. Um, they are not even graded that much. Uh, you know why I say so? Mm. You see, um, in fact, uh, when you say, you, when you have a boy at home, mm. I think. Uh, you, you you give him clothes, give him food, give him everything, and then we'll be pleased mm. to render you services. But all we do now, if that we rent if the school was built, I'm almost uh, how many blocks? We have about five or six blocks. Mm. Then equip their lab by the very work of the state government. Yet they are not pleased with us. That is why I have to insert that so, so that they know exactly what we have done to the state. 
Because they have the government. Government will help you. That is why we did so. Big but facts. But now, I don't know what is really wrong. Let's let's also look towards the area. You know, you've, you've mentioned power, you mentioned road, and then you mentioned that the school was getting looted, which points us to its situation surrounding security. I have to ask, um, with the setup of the Edo State Security Network, in my area, we, we, I, I see a lot of, I stay in GRA, I see a lot of patrol by the uh, state-presented um, um, vigilantes. Do they come this way? Do you feel their impact in this part of town? They came, but they are not much. They are so few. Mm. The vigilantes are so few. And uh, in fact, the school itself is so very dark. It's a dark area, and uh, nobody goes there in the night to do, to do some uh, supervision. Mm. So that is why it is uh, somehow very dangerous. There was a time they burnt a police vehicle. They burnt the they police burnt vehicle. They vehicle inside the school compound. Oh my goodness! You see, you see, the, the, the school compound is so terrible that nobody goes there. In the midnight, because uh, no light, nothing, so nothing done, nothing was done. This is very worrisome. Uh, um, if, if you live in the Adwoa area, you can join this conversation, by the way. 0812-753-6932, 752 and 0705 You can also send us text or WhatsApp, 705 Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Welcome. What's your name and where you're calling us from, please? My name is Edwin. I'm calling from St. Xavier. Okay. Uh, we're talking about Adobawa right now. Do you have any connection to the area? Uh, no, I don't have any idea about Adobawa, but I do not have my, my jurisdiction. Even our fair self will not see this light. Seriously, seriously, no light. My brother lives at St. Joshua. Let me just read out what I said. Then for the past two weeks, they don't, they don't have light. Then yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, yes, yesterday night, they brought the light. And they brought the light. The current was over full. Even cost, the, current, the light even cost a house worth billions of naira. Got born, both properties and all. Got born at St. George on yesterday. So the people should wake up or be this. They should wake up to their responsibility. Hello. Nigerians are paying for this bill, and they are not having. They are not getting their services. It's not good. It's not good. We are living in darkness. Seriously, and this thing is very, very bad. In the day, you will not get the light. In the night, you will not get the light. Even our children, you see, their body filled with rashes because of no light. I pray may God help us. So. Thank you so much. If you just joined us, you're on to Super 80 Airport, one of family number one family radio station. It's now 9.38 a.m. Today's Wednesday, the 24th of April. Uh, I'm sat here with Pa Agbonta. He's the Ojoe of Aduawa community. And he's reaching out to the state government and all relevant authorities as about what is happening in the Adwawa community. The Adwawa community has been struggling, especially when it comes to light, to power. Now, these people have paid everything that they need to pay. They are not owing the light bill, according to the story presented to us. They buy their poles, they buy their wires, they fill up their schools, they, 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 they renovate when it is needed. However, they are still struggling, and they're asking, they're reaching out to the state government, and they're asking, what have the people of Adwawa done? Have we done something? Are we being abandoned? So I'm also reaching out to you. And if you are a member of relevant authority, if you have person, you're for a person domiciled in the BDC or from the state government, and you have a response to what has been brought to your table, now this would be a perfect time for you to reach out. And let us know if there are some privileged information that we do not have about the situation happening in Adouawa. We would absolutely love to get that information. So please, you can reach out to us. You can call us 0812-753-6932, 705 Eight one and also zero seven zero five five one two nine eight eight one. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Welcome. What's your name and where are you calling us from? I'm Jeffrey from Idogbo. Jeffrey from Idogbo. All right, talk to us, Jeffrey. Hello. This particular line. Hello, good morning. Hello. All right. So um. I, I, I need to ask now, um, you've come to the radio station, which is a fantastic move. Although previously, you had mentioned that there was a planned protest by the youth, which have been calmed down. Now, has it been calmed down or, you know, uh, postponed? Yeah, Joyce, just temporarily. 
We don't know how long we can hold these boys. Because these are people with businesses. How they, they do their business, they live in the same area. Mm. You run jail for business, you run the jail for who? Because if not for the solar that came in that is helping us with a little lighting, which most of us get on instrumental basis to just get something to use, mm. especially the light, to just make the whole area look bright in the night. Because Adowa in the night is a dark area. Mm. I can testify to that one. And going by the security which Epa mentioned, mm. that one is another challenge. If not for communal efforts and individual efforts, <laughs> you can't come and do our holding a phone in the night. No. I pity you. You no. buy another one in the morning. No. <laughs> so we all tried our best to make all this thing which we pay taxes for, to mm-hmm. provide for ourselves. Again, is that not double taxation? It is. At I this pay point. tax and I see pay bills outside tax. Imagine to get a security man to guide my shop. You know how much? A month. Which I'm supposed to enjoy with the tax pay receipts I have. Mm. And lo and behold, it's not happening. And this is our community. We are all trying our best to just give ourselves hope. Because if by if I had not intervened by Monday, I don't know what would have happened. Because those boys... We are really Ready. not only at our upper mission. Yes, we are. Ever runs the up join together. I didn't even know because I just came back from a journey. I was like, "What are you doing?" They say, "We just more inform you." One protest on Monday. Ah, one protest. What you happen? Ah, okay, you know the the area. Like no day, nothing. Ah, I say, calm down. It has not come to light. I'm working on it. They say, "We don't say that you they do always, but how long? If you come up for area, uncle." Very serious question. If you come up for area, what's it gonna happen? What's it gonna happen? Well, we have this one from our WhatsApp says, Good morning, Joyce. I am Patrick in Agbo Road. This is the same thing in Kuba Hill area of the state. They should help us. People are really, really suffering. So says, Good morning, Super FM. And those men in the studio are very, very correct, especially for the spending and to all the things to fix BDC facilities. All those monies are supposed to reflect in their bills. Coalition for Sustainable Development. Good morning, Super FM. I commend Super FM and, of course, the elders for coming out to speak about the epileptic power situation in Adowa. I read that a particular bank uh, could be in charge of the BEDC, cannot confirm, but I want to appeal to the governor to go back to the negotiating table with the people in charge of the BEDC and seek for a public-private partnership arrangement because I once watched the governor sharing his frustration over how the BEDC refused to work with him to, distrib- to, to distribute the power generated by his own government. Uh, this is Julius Elder Statesman uh, from Benin City. We have around two minutes uh, left in this conversation. I want to hand over that two minutes uh, to George Young Wery to make his passionate appeal to all relevant authorities. So please <coughs> go ahead. Speak to, speak for your people. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, see, I'm happy for your receiving me politely and receiving me as a correct uh, administration. In fact, I'm happy. I appeal to the I appeal to the state government again and to BBC so that uh, we have light. No light. Light, anywhere there is light, there is life. If there's no light, light there, there's no life there, because uh, everybody will believe on this light. By the time, uh, the early 50s, say 52, 55, you see, I think uh, the light came to be in 19, if not, I'm not mistaken, 1954, was in Salvation Army School. So you see, 20, by the time the, that gel is being put on in uh, what you call uh, mm. you have light 24 hours. 24 hours, no problem. But nowadays, there was a time when it come to the other, the, when the, the country done. 24 hours. I don't know what is very wrong now, sat now when, when they bring this electronic system. I don't know, which is not, I don't know what is wrong. Mm. So please, I appeal to the state government and the BBC themselves to give us light. I'm appealing. I'm not forcing anybody, but but I'm appealing to them so that uh, we have light. Thank you so much. We have done all we could do as a citizen of Nigeria, but uh, the only thing left to the government 
Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Sha. And um, as Super FM, as a corporate body residing here in our Duawa community, we are also reaching out to all relevant authority. People of Adowa are making, you know, very small, very small demands and a very big appeal for power and for security in this Adowa community. There are businesses here, there are families here, there are children here, there are livelihoods here who are struggling day in, day out, and they are just asking for relevant authorities and asking for the state government to come to their aid. We are hopeful that this um, big call that we have made today is going to come to fruition. Thank you so much. My name is Joyce Chukuka, and this has been What the Honorable Has Got to Say on your number one family radio station, Super 88.1 FM.